Iowa Learning Online, or ILO as we affectionately refer to it, is an Iowa Department of Education supplemental online program. And uh, that simply means that we uh, work at the uh, behest of the school districts. We're there to provide them with additional support for their existing curriculum. Um, we expand student distance learning opportunities for students, and uh, we are available uh, for use by any accredited public or non-public school district in the state of Iowa, plus homeschool students who are duly enrolled in their local school uh, district. And that means basically they have a cafeteria style approach to uh, their child's education. They may do portions of it at home and they may select courses uh, from the district that they wish for their child to participate in or activities. Uh, with Iowa Learning Online, local schools and districts award their students the credits based upon successful completion uh, of the ILO course. We send a percentage score to the school districts. We are a big local control state, so they often have uh, slightly different grading scales. So uh, whatever our 92% is to us may not be the same to every district across the state. Uh, so we allow them to do that uh, offering of credit. Also, every district must provide a student coach, which is a liaison uh, between our teacher and the parent and uh, the student in the school district. Uh, ILO is also permitted by the Iowa legislature to satisfy what we call the offer and teach requirement. In our Iowa Administrative Code, Chapter 12, it dictates what uh, courses and um, what sort of instruction will take place in school districts so that they can remain accredited by our state. Um, when a school has a problem finding uh, a teacher, say in physics, out in the rural areas, we are uh, uh, given the legislative permission through a Department of Education waiver that they must uh, fill out uh, and we must approve to be their physics teacher for one year at a time while they're uh, continuing to look for a teacher. Next slide, please. We were so excited when um, we became a part of the Virtual Alliance and we started talking about this survey with the researchers. It's really great to have uh, someone ask you, what would you like to know uh, about your students, about your teachers, about what's going on in your school? Um, research seems to be the one thing we often don't have the time, the money, or the staff to um, do the things that we would like to. The, the challenge came in narrowing down the uh, questions <laughs> and focusing on just a few instead of uh, the, the 20, 25 questions that we would have loved to all had answered to. But we together as a group uh, in, the, in the alliance came to um, an agreement and I think we were all very, very happy about its uh, the way it has turned out. ILO administered the survey to its online teachers in the fall of 2014. We had 16 teachers respond to the survey. That was a time, up a time period where we were just beginning a tremendous scale up. Um, uh, so now, just in comparison, we have uh, 54 teachers that we could uh, administer that survey to. Uh, and see if the results were any different. Almost all of our teachers uh, I would say 90% at least teach full-time face -face, in a face-to-face -face classroom. Um, some are retired, some are stay-home parents. Uh, we do allow teachers who are Iowa residents and move out of state, if they continue their Iowa licensure, they can continue to teach for Iowa Learning Online. Next slide, please. All teachers reported participating in either in structured or unstructured professional development or training specifically focused on online instruction. Unlike other programs, in Iowa approximately 55% of our teachers reported receiving professional development or training prior to teaching online but after pre-service but after pre-service education and approximately 60 
percent reported participating in professional development while teaching online. Similar to the other programs, few reported receiving training during pre-service education. All teachers reported receiving training related to technology, and nearly all also reported receiving training related to facilitation and online course customization. Uh, our many of our when we we do have some courses that we have developed, some we purchase from ben, vendors, but we license or purchase them with the right to be able to change them to meet Iowa's uh, core requirements and also our 21st century skills uh, or any other content that we would wish to add or subtract from that course. The current ILO professional development offerings and planned changes uh, that this uh, survey uh, resulted in, we are now uh, targeting teachers with professional development by uh, observing them more closely and by having uh, teacher meetings, generally they're departmental, but sometimes there's a, a mix of teachers in there uh, on a monthly basis to uh, have them uh, talk to us about professional development needs and for us to provide some uh, just-in-time professional development to them. Next slide, please. Teachers reported challenges related to student perseverance and engagement as uh, they did in the other states. And uh, similar to other programs, this included getting students to complete their assignments and the course and getting students to interact with each other. Uh, teachers also reported that navigating technology, using collaborative tools, and engaging students' parents were challenges, at least to some extent. The least commonly reported challenges were setting course expectations, assessing students in online courses, and supporting students with special needs. We're very lucky in Iowa to have a very strong um, special education support service through our regional service agencies. And uh, when we have a student that's identified as having an IEP or a 504 plan, our teachers work very, very closely with the local teacher on the ground uh, that's working with that student every day. Um, also, we uh, knowing that that uh, engagement, excuse me, and perseverance was a challenge, and we also know from research that early and continued engagement is a key to uh, successful online learning. We began to conduct uh, uh, weekly what we call web checks, uh, and this lets us know immediately uh, when a student is falling behind, when a teacher possibly is not engaging. So we use that data to work um, with our teachers, with our students, with our coaches uh, in the district, and sometimes with parents to keep that student engaged. And we've noticed a significant difference in the drop-fail uh, rate um, just in one semester from, from uh, that work. Uh, 